Hello everyone. Today our topic is subset sum problem. The subset sum problem is an important decision problem in complexity and cryptography. It belongs to a class of problems called MP complete problems. MP complete problems are decision problems whose solutions can be verified in polynomial time. The general statement of the subset sum problem is simple. Given a set S opposite to integer numbers, we have to find if there is a subset whose element sums to a certain value X. And the second variation of the problem, we have to find all the subsets whose sum is the integer value X. And assuming that we have interpretative elements in the original set S, the subset sum problem can be solved using different methods, brute force, dynamic programming, and backtracking. According to the brute force method, we have to find all the subsets, and from these subsets, find out the ones that sum to the integer value x. For example, if we have the set of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, and given that x equals 15, then we have to find all the sets, etc and find the subsets that sum to this value the complexity of the brute force method is very high big o is 2 to the power n today we are going to discuss the dynamic programming method to find if there is a set that sums to x and to find the number of sets that sums to the value x Consider, for example, that we have the input set 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and x equals 9. You already know that using dynamic programming, we always have to construct a table. In the rows of the table, we insert the elements 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and we need x plus 1 columns starting from 0 to the required sum 9. According to the first variation of the problem, we have to find out if there is a set that sums to this value. In this case, we retain the value the true from the last cell in the table. If we cannot find a subset, then the value false is retained. We start constructing the table. You can use the value 0 or 1 instead of true and false. We start with the sum zero. We can generate it by not selecting any of these integers, since the empty set is a subset. Next, we start with the integer number two. Can we generate the sum one using the integer two? No, but we can generate the sum two, and we cannot generate any of these sums. Next, we include the integer 3. We cannot generate the integer 3 using 1, and here we have false. Since we have VR true, we copy from the above cell, and we can generate the sum 3 from the integer 3. So here we have a true, and in the remaining cells we have false. Next, we include the integer 5. Up to this point, we copy from the above cell. True, false, true, true, false. Now 5 minus 5 is 0. In the above row in column 0, we have a true. So here we have a true. 6 minus 5, 1. In the above row, here we have false. 7 minus 5, 2. Here we have a true. 8 minus 5, 3. Here we have a true as well. 9 minus 5, 4. Here we have false. Next, we include the integer 7. Up to this point, we couple from the above cell. True, false, true, true, false, true false. Now 7 minus 7 is 0. 
here we have true next eight we have here true we copy from the above nine here we have false but nine minus seven is two and here we have a true after that we include eight up to this point we couple from the above row true false true true false true false true since here we have a true so we'll have here true and here true as well so the final result is true which means that we have at least one subset that sums to the value 9. This subset is 2, 7. According to the dynamic programming, the solution for this problem, we can tell if there is a subset that sums to the given value. For programming purposes, you could note from the procedure of filling each entry in the table that the entry AIJ is filled according to the following rule. The value in the above cell, AI minus one, J, is or to the value, AI, J minus AI. So if any of these values is true, then the entry AI, J is true. And it is false only if both these values are false. For the second variation of the problem, to find the number of the subsets, that sums to X, we have again to construct a table containing the input numbers as it rows and X plus one columns. And in the first column, we have the sum zero and all these elements are ones since we can generate the sum zero by not selecting any of these input numbers. To find the cell AIJ, we can use the add exclude include rule as it was described in the coin problem. First, if AI is greater than J, then we copy the above cell, which means that AIJ equals to AI minus one J. This is the above cell, AI minus one J. Else, AIJ equals to the sum of the above cell, AI minus one J plus AI J minus AI. And I will demonstrate this using an example. Consider that the input integers are one, two, three, five, six, and the sum equals to six. So we construct a table with these elements as a rows and with seven columns, zero through six. As we discussed here, we have all ones. Since we can generate the sum zero by not selecting any of these elements. Next, we consider the integer one. Can we form the sum one using the integer one? Yes. And we cannot form any of these sums. Next, we consider two. Since two is greater than one, we couple from the above cell. Now two equals two. So we sum this value, zero plus. Two minus two is zero. In the above row here, we have one. So we'll have here one. Next, the sum three. In this cell, we have zero plus. 3 minus 2 is 1, and in the above row, we have 1. Next, 0 plus 4 minus 2, 2, and here we have 0, so we have here 0, and here as well. Next, we consider the next integer, 3. Since 3 is greater than 1, and 2, we couple from the above cell. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we sum this one to this one here. We'll have here two. Four minus three, one. Here we have one, we sum it to this zero. Five minus three, two. We have one here. 
and 6 minus 3, 3. Again, we have here 0 plus 1, which is 1. Next, we consider the integer 5. Up to this point, we couple from the above 1, 1, 2, 1. Now, to find this cell, we have to add this value 1 plus 5 minus 5, 0. In the above row, here we have 1. So the sum is 2. And to find this cell, we have here 1 plus 6 minus 5 is 1. Here we have 1. Again, the sum is 2. Next, we consider the integer 6. Up to this point, we cut from the above. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, to find out the value in this cell, we sum 2 from the above cell plus 6 minus 6, 0. Here, in the column 0, in the above row, we have 1. So, the sum equals 3. And this is our final answer. So, we can generate the sum S6 from these set of numbers in three ways. And really, they are 1, 2, 3, 1, 5, and 6. The time complexity of solving the subset sum problem using dynamic programming is big O n multiplied by m, where n is the size of the input list and m is the required sum. But here we have to note that there is a space complexity as well, also in m. The space complexity is required for constructing the table. And really, the main task in dynamic programming is to fill the table entries. Subset sum problem can also be solved using backtracking. For today, that's all. Thank you.